Hello, dear seekers of the profound and the curious minds yearning for the mysteries of the universe. Have you ever felt that eerie sensation that some invisible threads might be connecting events across vast distances? This feeling, often dismissed as mere fancy, is not far removed from a fundamental principle in the world of quantum mechanics. A principle so otherworldly that it shook the very foundations of physics and challenged our classical understanding of reality. What if I were to tell you that at the most fundamental level, particles, no matter how far apart, can influence one another? Welcome to the enigmatic realm of non-locality, as uncovered by John Stuart Bell. Imagine, if you will, a universe where two entangled particles, separated by the breadth of the cosmos, dance to the same mysterious tune, instantly and effortlessly responding to each other's movements. This is the philosophical landscape where John Stuart Bell erected his tent, and it is here that we embark on our journey through a concept both bewildering and beautiful. It's a realm that beckons us to put aside our preconceived notions of space and time to contemplate a reality that is intimately connected at a level beyond our everyday perception. Now, let me ask you a question that has puzzled many a mind. How could particles possibly communicate instantaneously over vast distances, defying the universal speed limit set by the speed of light? This is the central question around which the concept of non-locality revolves, a question that uncorks the bottle of the quantum genie releasing a myriad of philosophical and scientific conundrums. As we delve deeper, picture the early days of quantum mechanics, a time of great excitement and great debate. At the heart of these debates was a thought experiment that Albert Einstein, along with Boris Podolsky and Nathan Rosen, proposed to challenge this spooky action at a distance, coining it EPR paradox. They argued that quantum mechanics was incomplete that there must be some hidden variables at work that we were yet to discover. However, it was Bell who, in the 1960s, proposed an elegant theorem, now known as Bell's theorem, which suggested that if quantum mechanics were correct, then the results of certain experiments could defy any local hidden variables theory. John Stuart Bell, a physicist both understated and profound, introduced this theorem not just to the scientific community, but to the philosophical world as well. He posited that if the predictions of quantum mechanics were correct, then the world is non-local. Particles influence each other in a way that is immediate and unmediated by any known force. This insight opened the door to an avalanche of questions about the very nature of reality, causality, and even free will. Historically, the principle of locality held that objects were only influenced by their immediate surroundings. Yet, philosophers and scientists alike had to grapple with a new reality when experiments consistently supported non-locality. We can look to the famous Aspect experiment in 1982, where Alain Aspect and his team demonstrated that Bell's inequalities were violated, providing empirical support for non-locality. The implications were profound, and they echoed through the halls of philosophy, where discussions of determinism were now entwined with the enigmatic nature of quantum mechanics. The ethical implications of non-locality might not seem immediate, but consider for a moment the nature of information and our own consciousness. If particles can be entangled over distances, could our minds also be subject to this strange interconnectedness? The thought experiments devised by philosophers such as Nick Bostrom and Derek Parfit explore these ideas, challenging our concepts of identity and individuality. As we reflect culturally, we see non-locality mirrored in art and literature. Take, for instance, the works of science fiction authors like Isaac Asimov or Arthur C. Clarke, who often speculated about the deep interconnectedness of all things. Clark's novel, Childhood's End, comes to mind, where the evolution of human consciousness seems to echo the principles of non-locality in its climax. In our contemporary debates, non-locality continues to stir discussions, not just in the hushed rooms of physicists, but in the public arena where technology, especially quantum computing, brings the once theoretical and philosophical into the tangible and practical. 
Some argue that non-locality could revolutionize communication, while others worry about the implications for privacy and security. The relevance of non-locality in today's society cannot be overstated. As we venture further into the quantum age, understanding the implications of non-locality may well determine how we navigate the future, how we communicate, how we compute, and how we view the connectedness of the cosmos. Could this be the key to unlocking new technologies, or perhaps even new ways of understanding consciousness? In bringing our ideas together, let us consider Bell's profound insight as a synthesis of science and philosophy, a testament to the human spirit's pursuit of understanding. Non-locality invites us to stretch our minds beyond the confines of classical intuition and to embrace a more interconnected, holistic view of the universe. It is a concept that is not just to be learned but experienced as we open ourselves to the interconnected fabric of the cosmos. I want to express my deepest gratitude for you joining me on this extraordinary journey through the mysterious landscape of non-locality as outlined by John Stuart Bell. It has been a shared exploration of the threads that may bind the very essence of all things. As you continue on with your day, I leave you with a few ponderings. How does the non-local nature of reality influence your understanding of your place in the universe? In what ways could this interconnectedness manifest in your own life? Could the principles of non-locality offer us a new perspective on our shared humanity and the way we approach the world around us? Thank you once again for your time and curiosity. May this exploration of non-locality inspire you to look at the world with wonder and to seek out the connections that bind us all. Until next time, keep contemplating the mysteries of the universe, for in understanding them, we understand ourselves just a little bit more.